I mean, check out that beef. It's so full of heart tender. We're making a very special version of this famous Thai curry. This is not my mother's Masaman curry. So don't get me wrong, I do love my mother's Masaman curry, but I do think there's a way that you can improve. <laughs> Literally like all these Asian ancestors are just like, we're gonna get you married, no. Um, <laughs> I think there are a few techniques here that we can improve on to make like the very best Masaman curry, like full apart beef, sauce that's really thick and creamy and not too oily. We're gonna do it. And I'm gonna get in trouble with my mom later on, but that's okay. Um, first of all, let's talk about beef. So when my mom made Masaman curry for me growing up, uh, it was often just like sort of random pieces of chuck beef or steak. They could be thin or, or big or small. Um, but I think it's really cool to make this with big hunks of beef short rib. I love the flavor of short rib. I think it's like extra beefy. You've got lots of connective tissue and fat through here that makes things like really unctuous. But the treatment here is the key. So I just want to douse these guys with a whole lot of salt because I am going to do something again a little bit different here and I'm going to sear off my beef pieces. My mom would have just boiled the beef in the curry sauce, but I want to get some extra flavor here developing before I even start on the sauce. So into a hot pan, just going to throw some oil in there. Now beef pieces go in. Now pretty much what I'm doing here is kind of like adding in a little bit more of a European sear and braise technique to a Thai curry, I guess. So what I want here is lovely brown color. The salt helps us get a really nice crust and starts developing the flavor as well. See, look at all that color. That looks great. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so you can take your beef out, pop it into a roasting tin. Again, not something my mother would do. <laughs> now in here, we have so much cool flavor right here, like fat from the beef, all that lovely like crusty meat juicy thing going on. So don't throw that away. We're gonna use that and I'm gonna get my curry paste and I'm using my own Marion's Kitchen Masaman curry paste because actually this is my mother's recipe. <laughs> you can use whatever Masaman paste you have at home. I want a decent amount of paste in here to allow all those spices to kind of heat up and release all of their flavor. And then you can go in with some coconut milk. And just a little dash of water here too. And this just gets poured straight over my pieces of short rib. Now I'm gonna slow roast these guys because the heat in your oven is a lot more gentle and even uh, when you're doing like a slow cooking type method um, instead of a really harsh kind of boil on the stove top. All of these things are in pursuit of the most tender beef possible. Now the other bit of technique here is some baking paper and some foil and that way we're really sealing in tight that beef. That goes into the oven, 150 Celsius for an hour and a half. Another traditional ingredient for a masaman curry are Asian shallots. But instead of boiling the shallots, again, I wanna add more flavor by caramelizing them. So peel them, slice them into like bite-sized pieces, and then just sear them in some hot oil until they're a little charry at the edges. Okay, so let's take a look at our beef. Ooh, look at that. They already look so tender. Oh, I love that. In fact, I'm actually gonna take these bones out because I think they're just gonna fall right out. Beef is looking really good now. I do have a little trick for that sauce coming up a little bit later on. Um, but first of all, I wanna get the rest of my vegetables in here. So I have my shallots. Now I'm going to nestle these potatoes in here as well. Now back on again with your baking paper and foil and then into the oven for another 30 minutes just until those potatoes are tender. Okay, so here we are, currently smelling amazing right here in my kitchen. 
Let's do the reveal, Dax. Should we do the reveal? Let's do it. <laughs> ah. Q Symphony Music. It's a good reveal. <laughs> I think that looks so lush and amazing. Now let's just get our beef and potatoes and shallots out because I have a little trick for that sauce coming up. Now see how we've got quite a lot of sort of oil and fat on the top of that sauce, it's very shiny. So if I just take some paper towel, and this isn't gonna be like the most Instagram worthy thing, but it works, trust me. Just lay your paper towel on the surface there and it soaks up all of the oil. And just keep going. And then look at that. Lovely, creamy, rich, like so rich, full of flavor sauce here. Now, depending on your curry paste, you might want to season this with some extra fish sauce, but um, mm, no, mine's perfect. <laughs> okay, so just spoon away the sauce at random. And there you go, friends. It's not my mama noise masaman curry. Don't tell her. <laughs> Good thing she doesn't watch YouTube um, or Facebook. So, um, sorry, don't tell her. But this is literally like a really kind of like leveled up masaman dish right here. Let me get in here. I mean, look at this beef, okay? Let's do that fork test thing, right? So we get it here. It's just so tender, it's just falling apart. Mm. Oh God, so good. So much flavor. Melt in your mouth beef. Oh, sorry, mum. This is like pretty good. <laughs> I don't want to say better because like, you know, get in trouble, but it is better. Hey guys, I really love making these videos for you. One, I just love cooking. Two, I love sharing the cooking with you guys. Uh, so I would really appreciate it. If you do enjoy my videos, please do subscribe and also hit that little bell button so you get a notification every time I'm releasing a new recipe or something delicious.